Good morning. The other day, I got this through the post. It's a timer. They're relatively common, but I got this one for a specific reason. It's not because it fits on din rail. Well, it's supposed to. There we go. It does actually fit on din rail. There's its buttons. The odd thing about this one is that it looks like your bog standard timer. It's not. This one, believe it or not, runs on 12 volts. Let's put some power on it and see how we go. Yes, I've taken it off the DIN rail, but there it is a problem. In getting it off, the release lever literally snapped. So if it is on DIN rail, it can be awkward to get it off. However, the reason I took it off was for the terminals. You can see here, that's where the wires are supposed to go. And no matter what I do with the screws, they don't move. It's the same for the other end. I should see something appearing. Oh, we can on that one. But this end... Screw's moving, it's almost out. Nothing. I shall have a little probe. It would seem that the problem with the connections is they were jammed, but I've taken it apart, released them. You shall now connect it up and see what happens. Because this one actually runs on 12 volts DC. But it does have, on the side there, live and neutral, so I'm going to use one as positive and two as negative. Good. Nothing untoward has happened. It does say in the instructions that you should actually reset it. So I'm going to do that now. What I'm interested to know is how much current it actually uses while it's sitting here doing nothing. And also how much the relay draws. Just about a couple of milliamps. Let's operate the relay. Eighteen milliamps. Not bad at all. Seven milliamps for the relay. Mm. I've now set it up. It has changed over contacts down the bottom, rated up to 16 amp. I've set it for the correct time. It's half past four, and as you can see, it's on because I've told it to come on at 7, go off at 10. It does have multiple on and off times, up to 16 per day, but I don't need that. You might. It costs less than £9 from eBay. And say so this one is 12 volts. It says DC on the box, but the instructions say AC or DC. We shall find out. But my... Impressions of it so far are, well, what do you expect for a tenner? But we shall see how we go. As usual, if you want to support the channel, please buy me a coffee and join me on Patreon. And thanks for watching.